everybody. Today I'm in St. Cloud, Florida, fishing the pit, aka Osceola Outback, with some of my favorite people. I'm fishing today with Kim Hennessy and Kimmy Stark. I will link all their stuff below so you can go check out their profile, as well as Osceola Outbacks. Right now we're pitching some soft plastics and we're trying to catch some bear Monday, and I'll keep you guys updated with how that's going. Alright, Kimmy, tell the people hey. Howdy, y'all. Howdy y'all, I like it. That sounds like something I would say. But Kimmy's over here casting her bay. Hopefully we'll hook up in just a minute. All right, Kim just hooked up right near the bank. So they're eating pretty close today. Yeah, they are definitely feeding close. Most of the fish in this pond are gonna be between five and eight pounds. I see a little thing. Yeah, he is. <laughs> nice fish though, absolutely beautiful. Let me tell you guys, these are tough little fish. They have really hard mouths and they're pretty, actually kind of hard to hold. They shake. Really but uh, yeah, they'll beat you up. I, I got hit earlier by one, but they're beautiful fish and they have so much feist in them. They're so much fun to catch. The gill plates on these guys are crazy. And it's, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but they've got, they've got gill plates a lot like a snook. It. So they've got a set of gill plates here this actually looks, I don't know if you can see the serrations, but it is like a razor blade. Then they've got another set of gill plates back here. They've got three spikes right here. They've got spikes down here. I don't know if you can see those. So they will cut you. So we got to tell everybody, make sure you lip them. But these fish, it's an Australian cousin basically to our Florida snook. So they've got, they look a lot like a triple tail in the back, snook in the front, but they jump out of the water like tarpon. Awesome okay. fish though, definitely. They are a blast to catch. We're gonna throw them back. So what we're using here, we use DOA. DOA um, baits. We use their the DOA hooks, the jig head hooks, and then we use their soft plastic. This is a cow shad. And we use a 50 pound leader. We get a lot of people that ask us about why do you have, need a leader that's so sturdy for catching fish that are anywhere from five pounds to 14 pounds. The Bear Mundy is a lot like a snook where it's got, it's got real sharp teeth, like not, you can lip them, but they've got a lot of little teeth that are just real abrasive. And then they'll hook this behind their gill plate. When they jump out of the water and they shake their head, they're trying to cut your line. So after, I've caught three fish today and I had to retie my leader already, and this is a 50 pound leader. So that's what we're basically using today. We just either swim it, swim it slow, or we'll let it drop, and then we'll jig it up, and they'll hit it on that fall. Another one. And he is feisty. These are some of the most fun fish to catch. Seriously, they're just, doesn't matter how big they are, they just put up a really great fight. Kind of reminds me of a Jack Creval, honestly, in the way that they fight. They pull a lot of drag, and they're just, they're just tough little guys. Nice one. Yeah, there you go. Nice little bear money for you. Can't beat that. All right, camera's on the tripod. Now it's my turn. There we go. There, he is. there we go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, ah. pulled it. Ah. All right, guys. Well, I hooked up to one, so. We'll, we'll count that as a success, but next one I'm bringing to the bank for sure. You touched the leader, right? Yeah, <laughs> we, we touched the leader. Leader touch. <laughs> Counts as a catch if you didn't know that already. All right, so we're headed to another pond to try there. Kimmy is currently taking a good snack break, eating a sandwich. She was smarter than I was and decided to bring food, but we're gonna go try it in another spot and see how we do. Oh wait, oh wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> as just as I was about to set my bowl down and go film Kimmy because she hooked up. I got hooked up too. Feels like a nice fish, so. He's feisty for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking hear about. Hear that drag. That's what we want to hear. Oh, pulling some drag. He's, he gotta be a good fish. Let's see where he's at. He's close. Come on, buddy. 
There you go. Heck yeah. Got a hook out of his mouth. Make sure I lift them really good because, like I said, they're feisty. But heck yeah. That is That's a good That's what we want right fish. there, guys. Oh yeah. Beautiful Viramundi. And like you guys saw, he put up such a fight. They're so much fun to catch. And we're just going to be catching more. And Kimmy just caught hers. So. Double up. We doubled yep. up with some studs. Look yeah. at that. Can't beat that. Heck yeah. Now we're going to release them and let them live to see another day. Perfect. Right, well, that was sort of head first. Kind of. Well. Beautiful catch and release. Exactly. <laughs> Heck yeah. Nice work. Oh yeah. That was so funny. Literally, yeah. as I was reeling in to grab the camera, he straight, right. I felt it and I was like, oh God, yep. I'm gonna miss it. We're like, all right. We're out here slaying the Veramondi. Uh, running, running, running. <laughs> Kimmy's on the net job. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. He is a good fish, guys. All right. Getting close. He's right there. Oh, he almost jumped into the net. I wiped a little bit of the blood off, but my real butt, when he went down there, my real butt hit me and busted open my knuckle. But you know, they say, Kim, if you're not bleeding, you're not fishing. Exactly. So we're out here doing it hardcore. Yeah. Basically 1.82, let me tear it out. All right. Perfect. Face first. There we go. Now we got it. He's face first, so he is. Eight. Hold on, he's still going. <laughs> Eight point five three. Woo! Eight point five five. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know if you can see the scale, but regardless, you heard how much he weighed. He he's a pounds. stud. Kim is out here bringing in the big ones. guys so we're at stop number three we're fishing pond number two right now and we're gonna do something that I have not done before while fishing for Bear Mundy and we are going to wade fish as you can see Kimmy's already in the water casting her bait trying to get something to bite and Kim and I are about to hop in right now so stay tuned watch us wade fish for Bear Mundy it's gonna be interesting Come to mama, come to mama. You got it. 
trying to keep him away from that dock. Heck and run, boy! Heck and run! Like Alright. Well, he's not as big as the others, but, I mean, he's beautiful. They're just gorgeous fish and a blast to catch. So, got me another one. Out here just killing it. Alright guys, so today our girls day fishing the Bear Monday Pit was an absolute success. As you can tell from the video, big thanks to Kim and Byron for having me out and letting me fish. Like I said, they're an awesome group of people. I'm going to link all their stuff down below. Go check out their social media pages. Possibly book a guided trip with them. Like I said, they have an awesome airboat that they catch huge bass on. And they have these awesome barramundi that are obviously a blast to catch. I'll have Kimmy Stark's information linked down below as well. Hope you guys like this video. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll have another one out soon. See you next time.